put this uh, bird feeder in a couple of weeks ago. The uh, birds didn't come to it for quite a few weeks. But recently we've found the birds have discovered it and have eaten all the seed out of it. Hopefully, I won't scare them off. Look at that. Look at this. We've had this feeder out for about a month and haven't had, we have heaps and heaps of little birds. Not one of them was interested. Our neighbour had mentioned that these, I think they're parrots, come to his place, but we still hadn't seen them. But today, today they have arrived. I can't, I'm not sure if I can get round and go and try, see how red its belly is. Look at that. Look at that. Hello, beautiful. We now have a bunch of black cockatoos in the tree. Not sure if you can see them. I think they're fairly rare. Well, maybe not rare, but I certainly haven't seen them before. Yeah, it looks like there's four. Are we up somewhere? It's Jeanette and Dean here and welcome back to our channel. We had a um, message a couple of days ago from our one of our neighbours that uh, he's needing to replace one of the uh, posts in the back paddock. So we're going to head up there now. Um, this is right at the very far end of our property. Um, so it's with this particular neighbour and also the people that are behind us as well. So it's a three-way post, I suppose, they call it. So uh, we're going to head up there now. Um, it's great timing for us. We are right in the midst of um, clearing our boundary fence line um, because we want to put in chain link fencing for um, so that we can have some goats and sheep in there. We have lots of wild around in this area so um, before we can get the goats and the sheep we need to make sure the fencing is um, secure to protect them. Uh, so this is great timing as I said because um, it's a post that has rotted out and he's going to put in um, a galvanized post this neighbour so um, good learning for us. Quite an expensive post, something probably we won't do a lot of but um, it's good to have a bit of a lesson from a, a farmer that um, knows a whole lot more about fencing than us. So we're going to head up there now.
<laughs> suck at this. <laughs> Lining it up. Just don't get your finger. No way, if I talk a bad game, it looks yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, too easy. There you go. All fingers intact. I was called an Iowa bar. Right. And I mean, you can see the difference here. Yeah, there's stuff like nails on it. Yeah. As opposed to this. They're just wraps. Yeah. So they're just wraps around here. Yeah. They're easy as pie to undo. These take a lot more effort to try and take them out. We now have to climb all the way back up here. It's crazy steep. Just one step at a time, one step at a time. Put the camera away. I'm pooped. We're not there yet. The day has come. This clothesline is now finally gonna go. So here is the top of the water tank. <clears throat> this is a before and hopefully after you will see a shocking transformation. happening well, oh well you know normally you would collapse it down <laughs> and there's a button on this side that you push to it's get probably, it to go down but it's probably pretty it's obviously old. broken so it's got the classic wire holding it up uh, and also a screw <laughs> Down she comes. Jesus, don't go over the side. We're stuck for the tip. That is punch a hole for it. Right. And then put like a bolt. Maybe not that bolt, but another bolt. Uh huh. Get the car jack. Oh yeah. Put it underneath and then so let's see if I can that'll pull it out of the ground. Water. We'll just pull that plastic sleeve out and concrete it back in. There we are. That's better. On the top of the water tank. Just taking the view. Not have an ugly old clothesline there.
I'm not usually one to uh, do sunrise, but look at that. 